more honey, leave a contented life, always maintain a loving relationship with her family and friends. She lived life in humility. Family. Hinemo Mahoney cherished her husband and held to her marriage vows to her beloved until death. She treasured every moment she had with her family, often reminiscing to her younger self, referring to her parents, siblings, and loved ones who have passed before her. She devoted her life to the care of her children, often out, of, out in sea to provide for her children. She held precious her grandchildren, often with hidden treats on offer when they were with her. Her prayer life. In the later part of her life, due to ill health, was she was in bed, bound within her home. Despite her condition, she dedicated her time in communion with the Lord through her daily ritual of the rosary. When family members would check on her, Hinemoa was in continuous prayer state with the rosary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Dear friends, come together as a family of God this evening in prayers and vigil to pray for the soul of our Mama Hinemoa Mahoney, whom God called from this life to Him. We pray that may God forgive her sins, to forgive her body weaknesses in this life and this world, also to comfort the children the family, the community, and to us all. And so, friends, as we prepare to celebrate the great wish of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our faith and ask the Lord for abundance and strength. <coughs> Let her words to another turn. 
for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. <coughs> Blessed are you when men shall reveal you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they in the prophets which were before you. And friends, the Gospel of the Lord.
Or in other words, she was in love with God. In other words, she said, Lord, whatever you want of me, whatever you ask of me, I will do it. That is the best. We empty ourselves and let God lead us. <coughs> Blessed are the peacemakers. For them, to be called children of God. Blessed are the pure in spirit. And all these, these are the policies of the kingdom of God. Like every other nation, every other kingdom in this world, they all have rules and policies. <coughs> and Jesus said, and these are the policies for my kingdom. Whoever wants to enter, whoever wants to be born, whoever wants to follow me, live according to these rules. And you will have each and your life. Surely, our mother, Lady Shinemoa, she lived with the will of God. She lived according to the will of God. She lived. She guided, she protected, she loved her family and children, instructing them and leading them to know and to love God in this life. Children, family, two families, brothers and sisters, this is God's will for you and for me. Let us live. Let us. Live according to his will. That is also what our mother in the world asked us to do in this world. So let us continue our mass, asking the Holy Spirit to help us and to give us more enlightenment and more knowledge as we continue to read and to live his will. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.